Hello and welcome to Technician's Crew Pass. My name is Chris Tobias, Founder and Managing Director, and in this episode of Crew Pass TV, we're going to be road testing the new Teradec VDU. The new VDU by Teradec is a video streaming device. Lightweight, mobile, small, very powerful, very cool, streams in HD. Some of the features, if we just go to the back, you've got HDMI in, uh, a microphone, well, mini jack microphone, You've also got Ethernet uh, uh, hardwired power. And then if we turn around, you've got the main switch uh, on, on off switch. You've got the USB port so you can plug a USB dongle or modem into it so you can uh, wirelessly stream. And you've also got a headphone so you can monitor the audio coming in and out. So just looking at the front panel here, the front panel is, is really good, gives you a lot of information, tells you things, you'll get message pop-ups. Also has um, uh, indicator lights here so red is telling me at the moment that I don't have an internet connection or I don't have video input. Uh, it has a couple other little features and you'll see that throughout the menu. One of the things I'm not a fan of is on the side here you've got two little toggle switches, those little toggle switches where it's like up, down, left, right and you press in to actually get to menus. It's a bit tricky especially um, for me because I've got um, fat, fat fingers to try and navigate the menu. I much prefer to connect um, the iPhone app the iPhone app you can do everything with. So let's have a look at that um, and I'll talk a little bit about how you actually connect your, your iPad to this or iPad or iPhone. Okay, so just to explain quickly what I've done, I've got a laptop under the counter here, um, just doing a video loop. I've got HDMI out straight into the video. I've connected an ethernet cable, and I've also got the mains power. The device does have a battery in it, so you can charge the battery and you can just use it um, on the battery mode. If I'm using the ethernet, I tend, generally tend to uh, plug it into mains. So just to explain the different types of connections, you do have a hotspot built into this. So the app actually connects to the hotspot on the device. The, one of the downsides is, is that if you want to do that and you want to use the app, the only way that you can um, connect the device to the, to the internet is either by the USB um, modem or by the ethernet. You can't actually wirelessly connect the device to your own, to your own router and then connect the um, iPad. Not sure why that is, must be because there's too much radio frequencies going around, I really don't know. So what I've done is I've connected Ethernet, I've got the um, app loaded and I'm going to show you the features on the app. So here we are looking at the app. Um, the app is really great, I, I can't recommend it more. What you've got here on the home screen is you've actually got a live view of what we're streaming. So this is what the, the video there is, the video that's coming into the video currently. Um, obviously there's a bit of lag on it because I've got it set to very low resolution. You can set it to full HD if you want. And let's just have a look at, a quick look at the home screen. So you've got snapshot, which you can actually do snapshot photos. Again, really cool. The big green round button in the middle is how you turn the stream on and off. You've got the settings tab, which we'll get to. But then underneath, you've got all of the different, uh, sorry, you've got a quick overview of what, you're actually, what you've set up. So what this is telling us is that it's ready to go. It's online. Our input is 1080i and the, sort, the power source is uh, DC. You'll also see that I've set up a Ustream uh, account for Technician's Crew Pass and the quality that we're sending to you to Ustream, excuse me, is low. So then let's have a look at the settings page. If you go to the settings page, this is essentially the menu that's actually built into the uh, video. It's just much easier to navigate via the app. So if we go to broadcast, you've got quality. I've got mine set to low, but you do have a suggested quality tab there and that's actually a little speed test device. So what that'll do is speed test and then it'll come back and give you a recommended um, uh, settings. You've also got the platform. So we're streaming today to Ustream. You've also got live stream and you've got manual. So you can manually embed that into your website. Just go back video. It's telling us that the input resolution is 1080i and we've got it set to auto widescreen. Really simple, audio is the same, uh, it's coming in, the source is HDMI and it's uh, stereo. You've got the network, so here's where you'd come if you, at the moment we're running wide network, but if you wanted to set it up wirelessly or connect to a, uh, a hotspot, the USB modem, and you've also got the speed test. Now the speed test function's really cool. 
because if you're connecting um, to the internet, you can speed test it and it'll give you rec uh, recommended settings for the bandwidth that you've currently got. You've also got the system. System just gives you a quick overview of all of the firmware and software. And then you've got the help section as well if you need more information. So let's go back. Here we are at the home screen. I can see the video. I can see that everything says that we're ready to go and I've got a green light. Now, if I press the center uh, circle, which is green, you'll see it'll start to do its little thing. And in a second, it'll go red and it'll tell me that I'm live up on the top corner. Now we are streaming live to the Technician's Crew Pass Ustream account. It's as simple as that. You'll also see at the bottom there, it's a little eye, the like a little person's eye type of symbol that tells you how many people are currently viewing the stream. Well, that's it from me today. I'll leave links below to Technician's Crew Pass. If, you, if you're not a member, it's free to join. So get online, have a look at the community, have a look around the site. I'm sure there'll be things there that, that interest you. Get involved. Um, look out for more product reviews from us. We'll be doing many more in the coming months. If there's anything you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time.